Howdy folks, and welcome to another episode of Ask Nathan. You're watching TFL Now, and this special episode, well, it's really not that special, but it comes right before Thanksgiving, so by the time you guys watch this, you'll be eating turkey if you live in North America. All right, uh, the first question, which is a good question, how come TFL car and TFL truck don't use or review motorcycles? And this comes from Olga. That's a really good question. Thank you so much for asking it. And the bottom line is we just don't get them. <laughs> and we had an episode where we used um, a old motorcycle, fixed it up and sold it. None of those were particularly popular. You guys didn't seem like you were responding to them. Those were all on TFL car, by the way. All right, let's move on to the next question. Um, what are your views in regards to nitrogen tires? Okay, well, nitrogen in tires, I should say. <laughs> Okay, for those of you who don't know, um, nitrogen is used often uh, in race cars as opposed to air because it is a lighter substance that fills up tires and it's pretty good with dealing with heat and with dissipation. You put air in the tire after a while, the air does get out. You put nitrogen in the tire, it seems to stay a little bit longer, different size molecules and whatnot. The thing about nitrogen is for racing, Formula One, high-end racing like that, Yes, of course, it makes sense. For everyday drivers, uh, it costs a little bit of money. You can't just go out and find a nitrogen pump at a gas station. And if you take a nitrogen tire and add air to it, you are no longer <laughs> driving a vehicle with a nitrogen-filled tire. It is now air. And from there, you basically have to take all of the air and nitrogen out of the tire and then put just straight nitrogen back in. It's a real pain in the neck. So for those of you who are into high performance and are looking to save every little ounce, yes, makes sense. For those of you who are driving day to day, stick with air. It's a lot easier to replace. You don't have to pay for it really. And it's, it's just a basic thing. Uh, Jeep Renegade or Jeep Compass. And this comes from Paviscon. I'm just gonna say Paviscon with a K as your last name. I'm sorry. It's a really long last name and yeah. So, uh, well, dude, I haven't driven the Compass yet, but the old Compass, eh, wasn't great. It was okay. Um, yeah. The new Compass, I like the size. Uh, I like the fact that it's a little bit bigger than the Renegade. Um, I have a feeling it's going to sell quite well. Anything with Jeep's name on it right now is selling really well. But until I drive it, I can't tell you. Now, the final question, this is an interesting one, is about Tommy, who is... I think he's tucked up in the other room right now. We actually let him off the leash so he could play with that Porsche that he's been working with. And for those of you who don't know, that Porsche is a Boxster and it is currently in process of becoming a project vehicle for TFL. And if you don't know about that, I highly recommend you go and look at the Boxster video. It is, well, let's just put it to you this way. It was taken off road. That noise is Um, the question was, is Tommy going to take over for Roman? That was the question, and it came from somebody named Sue, and it's spelled S-O-U-I-X, I believe is how it was spelled. So, Sue, uh, yes, of course. In fact, we're all plotting on removing Roman and having Tommy take over for him. We'll take the toupee off Roman and slap it on top of Tommy's head to look just like him, and we're cool. Everybody's happy, right? Tommy is a member of our team. He's actually an important member of this team. He does a lot of the research. A lot of the editing you guys see is Tommy's. He is great with bringing in new tech to our program. And at the same time, he works with us with these vehicles. So he is what I call the brain trust of TFL, our whole team. Um, the bottom line is that I don't know what he's gonna do with his future, but I kind of hope that he does stick around because he's great to have around. Okay, that's it for this week. For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan Adlin. Don't forget, put your comments down below, and I will do my best to answer them. And remember, if it's something that I can't answer, one of the members of our team can answer, and then I will tell you through them. Thanks again. I'll see you next week.